Hi you guys, hope you're all having a fantastic day. This is my first FAQs, my first facts. <laughs> you know you're gonna get craziness when you kind of come to my channel. But anyways, you know what? I um, am asked uh, common questions uh, quite regularly now. So I figured that, you know what? I should do a regular FAQ so that you guys can ask me your questions and I can answer them on video. And then when somebody else asks the question, I can basically say, go and check out the FAQs. Cool, eh? It's all part of the plan. The plan. <laughs> Anyways, before I get into them, if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification. And also please do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media. It's much, much, much appreciated. Alrighty, let's get into it. Question number one. So one of the most common questions I get asked is about the gear that I use to record my videos. And I am gonna show you exactly what I use from most of my videos. Um, I use this wonderful piece of gear, which is the Red Stuff 1987 Fat Amplifier. It is, um, it's actually tube driven. There are a couple of um, little tubes in there. Yeah, it's a three channel amplifier, which my very, very good friend, Stefan Huther at um, Red Stuff Amplification built for me. And we kind of did it in uh, collaboration because I had done a video for his 1987 um, pedal, which is just amazing. And this is basically based off the 1987, but I have a clean channel, a rhythm channel, and a lead channel on this. So three channels, switchable. And uh, the really, really super special things about this are that it has the most incredible delay already built into the unit. Um, it is a stereo unit as well. So you'll see uh, these two outputs here and they go to two different cabs. And um, sounds wonderful, especially with the delay on because you get the ping pong effect and all sorts. It's just in insane. Has a loop on it as well. And um, also uh, switching, is it switching? No, it's the, this is the dry out. <laughs> I can take the preamp out as well, just the uh, 1987. Um, so if I just wanted to use the 1987 preamp into, let's say an amplifier, I can do that if I want to. Now this is really useful because what I can do is I can actually take this out and put it into another amplifier and actually have a wet, dry, wet um, rig with just this one other amplifier and three cabs. Yeah, it's pretty damn cool. Also has a cab simulator on there. It's uh, filters there. And um, this is a recent addition, which is a headphone output, which sounds absolutely wonderful. And then uh, just an input in there. So wonderful piece of gear. So most of the videos that you hear, you're hearing um, this amplifier. I'm gonna give you a clip of this right now. Sounds damn fine, doesn't it? It's a lovely, lovely, lovely amplifier. Now, the rest of the gear that I use, um, I basically go from this straight into my um, Audio ID 44, which is down there. You can see lovely interface, beautiful sounding and preamps on that. Then it goes into Logic most of the time now because I use Logic most of the time. And I use some um, impulse responses by Ownhammer. They are the Lynchback speakers. And I shall flash up the settings right now so you can see which ones I use. Yeah, they're the ones I use. And then um, I just use some delay and reverb and that's it. Pretty much done. <laughs> and it's just a fader up and down. Um, <laughs> so my delay settings and my reverb settings I shall give you right now. Here you go. And that's it, it's really, really simple. I dial my sound in 99.9999999999% um, as close to finished as possible so that um, my mix process is very, very simple. It literally is just faders and um, you know, just getting levels right. So there you go, guys. Uh, that's the first thing, that's my gear. And um, you know what, I often use this 
with my uh, wonderful uh, TS-808. This is a, uh, a reissue which I actually kind of um, made into vintage spec and it sounds spectacular. I love, love, love the sound of this. Changed the diodes in there, the op amp and um, some other bits and pieces and created this for like, um, I think um, it was like 50 pounds <laughs> instead of 1500, <laughs> which the originals go for because I fell in love with the original last year. <laughs> So there you go, that's uh, the gear that I regularly use. I have another amplifier which I'm going to be uh, using really, really soon, but it's a secret right now, so uh, you shall see that in a week or two. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and you'll get to see that as well. Or if you're one of my patrons on Patreon, yeah, you already know what it is. Keep it a secret, guys. Don't tell them. <laughs> or you can sign up to Patreon and you can find out. Anyways, All right, question number two is around delay settings. Now, I like my delays. This is my favorite one. Yeah, the Bell Epoch. This is very, very close to it as well. My um, Scryman El Capistan. Um, my really, really good friend, Mark Copper sent me this one. Mark, thank you, dude. Really appreciate it. I still use it. I love it. Absolutely adore it. But um, I got this recently, the Bell Epoch um, by Caitlin Bread. And this is just wonderful. Absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing delay pedal. Um, right at the top of the list for me just the way it sounds and feels and everything anyways my general delay settings are as follows so I set the time to around 470 milliseconds which is around a quarter beat usually um, if I'm doing it in the DAW then you know um, I can basically just set my um, my sound toys echo boy to quarter note and it gives me the, the right length of time um, and obviously synchronizes with the session that I'm recording to as well. But when I'm dialing one of these in, then I aim for that kind of 470-ish millisecond time. Uh, I just know it by ear now because I kind of like just play that that time all the time. That time all the time. Time all the time. Time all the time. Time all the time. <laughs> I'll say that one more time. <laughs> Time all the time. <laughs> Anyways, 470 milliseconds. Um, then I set the uh, feedback and the mix to about 25 or 30 percent. Now this is different depending on the unit that you use. So usually with these two units, um, although I say 25 to 30 percent, because I'm using my ears, um, sometimes you know the mix knob is all the way up there. But it's because of the delay unit itself, and you can see the mix knob on this one is quite high as well. And that's where it works that's the sweet spot with the amplifiers that i use so use your ears to dial it in and i actually have several other delay units and this one as well and i actually have uh, another one in the other room which is a uh, carl martin uh, delayla xl yeah <laughs> i like my delays <laughs> And one last thing about these, I like my tape echo sound, so I usually go for a tape echo style, hence um, tape echo, tape echo, oh this one's stuck, this one's stuck, it's stuck, tape, tape echo, yeah, hot tone, this is a really cool pedal, this is a really really awesome little pedal, I do like this a lot, and even my flashback, um, I have it set to a tape echo, 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 echo. I'll get on to the next question. <laughs> so the next question is around boost pedals. I've already shown you uh, one of my favorites, which is my TS-808, which I have modified. I actually bought this off eBay. I, I was, you know, you know what happened last year was I had borrowed a vintage uh, TS-808 from a friend of mine. Uh, it was from like 1981 and it was spectacular. Scrambled my brain. Honestly, the, the sound of it was just ridiculously good. And I actually stopped using the overdrive pedal that I had been using at the time. Just went into an amp with the um, 808 and it was just so sublime. Um, you know what, I'm gonna give you a clip of that. It's just, the sound of it was just, <gasps> wow.
It sounds, it's freaking spectacular. So um, I went on a quest to find out what actually made the TSO 808 sound so good. And uh, you know, it, they were kind of changing hands at like, you know, between like 800 and 1200 and 1500 pounds UK, which is a couple of thousand dollars, man. It's like, it's, it's crazy money. <laughs> So that wasn't really an option, but I kind of figured out what it was inside these that actually made it. So I changed out the op amp and um, also the uh, diode, uh, changed them to the original spec um, uh, MA150 diodes and a couple of the capacitors and something inside. Anyways, then I plugged this in and it was like, <gasps> got that sound. <laughs> so I got it for like about 50 pounds, in, you know, UK pounds, because I bought this kind of not working. Um, there was some problem with it, uh, which I figured out very, very quickly, uh, fixed it, and I had a vintage spec, which I have been using and absolutely adoring since, um, uh, since I built it. So yeah, this is my first choice, but I have a ton of others. Uh, another one which is a favorite is this one, which is the ice cream pedal by uh, my friend um, Kevin Proctor at um, Iconic Guitars. And you can see my Iconic there, yay! It's one of my favorite guitars, you know, this one. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, this is an awesome, awesome overdrive pedal, kind of based around the TS-808 style of pedal, but has its own voicing, two channels, it has um, a scream channel as well as the normal channel, and um, you know, just what it can do is really, really cool. Um, I have a video just on this, not me talking, it's literally just playing and turning the knobs and stuff, and go and check that out, it's very, very cool. I'll leave a card up here so that you can do that. And then I have a bunch of others as well. I have some more Red Stuff gear. This is very cool. This is the Revision 2 Boost pedal by uh, my friend um, Stefan at Red Stuff again. Um, it's a really cool boost which actually has uh, three different um, options for tone. Neutral, tone A and tone B and they do different things for the bass and the treble response and stuff like that. So sometimes I use this to boost and um, this is very, very cool. If you haven't seen this on my channel yet, check this out. This is a scary boost. Yeah, and this is scary good actually. Again, this is by Red Stuff. Um, this was actually built in collaboration with uh, myself and um, another friend of mine actually, because he wanted a boost pedal which could do it all. So we added an EQ, three band EQ, a tight control, uh, which is actually, you turn the knob and it basically gives you, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six different options for tight control. It's got 25 dB of boost. The uh, EQ is switchable on and off. Uh, bypass switch there as well and also you can um, switch the uh, pedal on and off with via triggers and also the EQ on and off as well so you can control both of these via let's say like a MIDI controller or an external kind of loop um, switcher and things like that which has um, trigger switches on it so awesome awesome boost I'll be doing a video on that really really soon um, other pedals that I have two more <laughs> Love this one. This is pure Led Zeppelin tone. This is like this is called the Fetaplex. It's basically uh, a very very simple um, preamp from um, the front end of an Echoplex, and it just does magic to the sound. This is Led Zeppelin tone in a box, man. Um, actually, I'm going to give you a blast of this. Zep, right? <laughs> it's awesome. So I love this one. This one I haven't shown you um, actually on the channel yet. This is, uh, I've called this one the Replicant because it is based on the uh, Clon pedal, which is a clone. And uh, it's wonderful. Really warm sounding pedal. Uh, I use this sometimes, I just haven't gotten around to showing you guys and doing a video on this. And I have one other as well, actually. Um, actually one other, one other. I'll show you how many boost pedals I have. Another one, this is a treble booster. Uh, lovely, lovely. Does the uh, Brian May thing, you know, when you want the clean sound. I'll be back, I'll be back. Another one, <laughs> 808 style pedal. Another one. <laughs> Literally, I have 
like I'm emptying my shelf right now. Another one. Uh, this is very, very cool, the uh, Diva pedal by T-Rex. I picked this up in Malta when I was on vacation in January, just before lockdown. Yay! I managed to have a vacation and buy some pedals. In fact, the other one that I just showed you, the garage set, this overdrive pedal, um, I got in Malta as well. Yeah. Then, uh, let's see, I've got a couple more. Yeah, seriously. I think I have a... Uh, 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 an addiction to these things just a little bit <laughs> this is by uh, Boo Instruments uh, pretty cool it's a 808 I think it has a switch I can't remember if it switches to uh, a, uh, the TS9 type thing I don't think it uh, no I had that kind of taken out just had the 808 thing because I was looking for the 808 and this is a very cool pedal by Veilton called the the tube engine very very cool anyways there you go, they're my boost pedals. Next question, um, how can you support the channel? I get asked this question pretty much every couple of days. There are lots of ways. One way to absolutely uh, always support the channel is to give the videos a like and, and subscribe to it and also share it on social media. That is so much appreciated and it's the simplest, simplest, simplest way to, um, to support the channel and it's I'm always really grateful when people do that especially when you guys share the video because that's how the channel grows and that's how um, people get to know about what I do and um, that's how you know the community grows as well and we all benefit from that and that just inspires me to do um, so much on my channel and stuff so that's a really really simple way to do it Another fantastic way is via my Patreon account. So I have a Patreon page, so you can go and check that out and there's some really, really cool stuff because I give my patrons a behind the scenes. They get to see a ton of stuff which uh, eventually gets onto the channel, but it could be months before it actually gets onto the channel. And they know about all of this stuff. Trust me, I put pictures and videos and all sorts of stuff and some really, really cool details about what I am getting up to because you know what, I'm a one man band and you know, I can only do so much. Not as, as in a one-man band, as, as in I'm playing drums and a guitar and, um, uh, you know, mouth organ and stuff all at the same time. Not a not one-man band like that. <laughs> Maybe I should introduce that to the... No, 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 no. I've got too many other things to do. But a lot of the stuff that I do, um, which eventually gets on, like the uh, secret amp build, which I mentioned earlier. Mm. Yeah. They know about it. So if you'd like, you can go over and kind of subscribe to that and um, that's a really great way to support the channel. I also have uh, music which you can go and download from um, Bandcamp, um, released an EP a couple months ago which is awesome, you will love it. So that's always a good way to do it. I have my other albums, Circle of Fire, Strange Day, some um, singles and stuff on there, um, a cover of Mr. Scary as well. Yeah, which you, will, you Lynch guys will adore, you, you guys will really, really dig that. So, uh, lots of different ways. I have a PayPal me link as well. There, all of the links are in the description box. Oh, by the way, I have lesson packs as well with my buddy Nick Layton. Lesson packs? Yeah, I have two lesson packs. One is uh, focusing on George Lynch and Warren D. Martini style licks, and it is fantastic. Uh, you guys who want to learn some more Warren D. Martini, George Lynch type stuff, you guys can go and um, check that out, link below. And also the second one that we did was exotic lead guitar playing. So you guys know the masala guitar type things that I do, all the exotic stuff, the Indian sounding stuff. We basically did a whole course of 30 licks which are in those different styles. And it covers like Indian sounding licks, um, Persian, um, also Arabic scales, uh, Hirojoshi scales, so Japanese sounding. It is fabulous and you guys will love it. So there are all the ways that you guys can support the channel. So all the links below. And it's so much appreciated. Even a thumbs up and a share and a like and a comment. Love you guys. <laughs> and the final question for today, do I still do Lynch licks? Uh, you know what, I don't do new Lynch licks. Um, I still have my Lynch guitars though. I'm not gonna sell those. <laughs> but I did stop doing Lynch licks uh, around three years ago now, yeah. And you know what, I absolutely adored doing Lynch Shakes and all the videos that I did are still up. Um, they're in a playlist called um, Guitar Lessons. And um, I'll link it somewhere up here and you know, you guys can go and check it out on my channel. 
So you guys can still go and, and watch those lessons, learn from them, download the tabs, etc, etc. Um, but I don't do any new ones. And um, there's a really good reason why I don't do them. Uh, because, you know what, I have so much more to share with you guys. And those videos did take up quite a lot of time. Uh, adored doing those songs because they're really close to my heart. I, I kind of grew up learning all of those songs. And, you know, it was wonderful sharing them with you. But um, I guess it's time for me to share myself with you guys as well. So I get to write music. I get to do um, lessons which are based around my own kind of um, uh, licks and riffs and uh, rhythms which I've written and I get to do product demos where I get to write songs and share them with you guys as well and that's always wonderful you know what I'm sharing myself my my craft my music as in you know who's Jay Palmer as a guitar player and a musician rather than showing you just who George Lynch is but you know what, I still love those songs, um, I've got a bunch of them, uh, like I said, on my channel so you guys can go and check them out, but I'm afraid I don't do any new ones, but you can go and enjoy those other ones. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for today, they're all the FAQs for today, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments box below, I'm always happy to answer questions and help you guys out um, if I can. And um, I shall see you again soon for another video and um, hopefully do another one of these answering your questions really, really soon. All right, have a fantastic and inspiring day and I shall see you soon. See you later, bye.